and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Trundle Vi. So we're going to be trying out a new version with Trundle. We're going to be comparing Trundle or combining Trundle with Vi for the main reason of having a large Vi and then using Augur of the old ones on Vi, giving Vi uh, overwhelm and regeneration. So we can challenge smaller units, keep Vi alive, especially with that tough. And then you'll have the regeneration and if we can get Vi to, you know, grow to be really big, as y'all know, you know, you can have like a 10-4 Vi or whatever, then we'll have um, the Overwhelm in there also. So that's kind of what we got going on here. Trundle, you know, will get us the Ice Pillar, also wants us to behold some 8 plus cost cards. And of course, Augur wants us to behold some 8 plus cost cards. So we're going to be playing 2 Battle Fury, 2 Progress Day for our 8 plus cost cards. Besides that, we're going to be going with a mostly all Freljord deck. The Vi, the couple progress days, and the Mystic Shots are going to be all we're going to have from PNZ. And we're going to be curving out with um, a bunch of Freljord cards and then going Averroes and Outriders. With a Outriders Allegiance, granting the top ally in, your, ally in your deck plus three, plus three, and Overwhelm, maybe we'll get that, you know, with the Vi also. Like, that's another way to just give Vi plus three, plus three, and Overwhelm. Could be pretty awesome. But then also, you know, on Averroes and Hearthguard, Trundle... You can see that between Hearthguard, Trundle, and Vi, we have a lot of 5-drops, right? We have the 9 5-drops. Avros and Outriders on turn 4, if we hit any of these 3 5-drops, that we can go, we can curve Outriders on 4, and then on turn 5, play any of these 3 cards that also have plus 3, plus 3, and Overwhelm, that would be incredible. And so that's what we're kind of setting up here with having the extra 5-drops um, and the Outriders uh, together. Uh, let's see. Also have just a couple Avalanche in here for, like, decks that are going wide. Like, maybe just some decks with, um... Hey, what's up, Frank? Thank you so much, Frank. Thanks for that, uh, sub there. A brand new Tier 1 sub. Um, uh, decks with, like, Petty Officer. Maybe we just have a couple Avalanche in there for some more removal. Alright, so here we go. Let's get started with Trundle Vi. Let's try this one out. Let's see how it does. Looks like there was an update. That gets us to sub number four out of five. That's weird. Did anybody else get the, that update? Oh, I guess it was because like the gauntlet or something. Anyway, uh, let's see. Trundle by. All right, we're gonna go play five games over in ranked and we'll see how we do. Oh, I, I, I missed that core deck, my bad. Yeah, Puppy is a Shiba Inu. The, my dog, her name is Puppy. Uh, Shiba Inu. It's spelled like that. Alright, Avros and Sentry, Mystic Shot, Hearth Guard. Keeping all those. I don't know if I keep two fives. I probably don't keep two fives. So either keep Trundle or Hearth Guard. I want to keep Hearthguard first. Because, of course, you know, playing Hearthguard um, pumps up everything else in the deck. Makes everything else bigger and better. For those of y'all watching on YouTube, Shiba Inu is... The Inu part is spelled I-N-U. Nothing escapes my wife. Shiba is spelled like you know, Shiba with an I. So I'm playing this 2-1 Averroes and Sentry, thinking that it's probably going to be trading, you know, like that we're going to be trading here. I'd rather have the 2-1 trade than the 3-2 trade with the 2-2. Alright, the trap is set. The Yeti is another good card for our Averroes and Outriders, and it also helps our our Avros and Outriders hit Allegiance more often. Sorry, that's kind of a tongue twister. Yeah, this puts another Freljord card back into the deck. They are just passing all the time. They're out there. I'll spot them. The 
All right, if they want to trade the 3-3 three, three for the 3-2, that's fine. That's also fine. That's a lot of damage. Down to eight. And we got double Mystic Shot in hand. Be going Hearth Guard, of course. Get that in play ASAP. I'll do my best. Puppy is uh, about like 24 pounds. I think. Look out for Reavers. Alert the villains. So he's about twenty four pounds. I fight for the fallen. In Avarosa's name. Hold back the darkness. I will end this here. Stay back. Puts them in range of my mystic shots. I cast Fury of the North, I won't have both Mystic Shots available this turn. Just gonna let damage happen. And of course, could Fury of the North try to kill the Radiant Guardian, get extra damage in on them, all that kind of stuff. Here comes the punchline. The card that I'm the most worried about more than any other is single combat. A little worried about that with casting the Fury of the North. I feel like if they had single combat, they probably would have used it though, right? Just like we drew it up with our Trundle Vi deck. Having zero Trundles, zero Vi's, my opponent playing a Vi, and us killing them with burn spells with Mystic Shots. <laughs> our almost all Freljord deck getting that reach in there, just like we drew it up. Aurelian Soul Trundle. This one we're not... Oh, maybe we are going to curve out really well. No, I haven't played any Ezreal Targon deck. We played against an opponent playing Ezreal Targon earlier. Um, I think that was with our Mistrate deck. That was our one win with our Mistrate deck. We were playing against the Ezreal Targon. Playing a bunch of good blockers. It's gonna be kind of why we need like Augur of the Old Ones because of all these blockers. That could be useful with the Trickster later on. Oh, don't. Okay. Yeah, don't don't listen to the Mobilitics tier thing. You said it's a tier S deck, according to Mobilitics. Don't listen to that. 
That is not a good representation of decks that do well or do not do well. I haven't clicked on that page in a few months, <laughs> honestly. I... I think I'm playing Vi here over Trundle. No, like, if I play Trundle, then we get to play Augur, because then we'll ha behold an A-plus cost card. I want the Vi to challenge the Trickster. I'm through waiting. Can I paint you? Protect and shield me. Now, Mobilytics has the stats page, and that stats page is awesome. I don't I haven't checked it yet. It's, it's been two days. It's like really two days like this, three days, four days. Don't look at tier lists and stats and that kind of stuff. Just just keep playing. Like it's it's way too early for that kind of stuff. It's way too early to, to make any kind of proclamations on what decks are better than others and all that kind of stuff. Could definitely have another daybreak. I can't keep daybreak from killing Trundle. These are trolling. But I guess if they do have another daybreak, I mean, I still have all this other stuff, I suppose. Darn. This allows me to have Fury of the North available. We'll see kind of what they do. I want to play this Enraged Yeti or not. Or have Fury of the North. And Avarism Sentry is great. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll play the other Enraged Yeti. Turn our brittle steel into a 4 2. Basically, that's what we just did there with that brittle steel. I'm running out of gas. Would the double daybreak kill both of my challengers, or champions? Sorry, not challengers, champions. Hurt. Um. I think I just go back to my turn. No. See what they got going on over here. That they're wanting to play.
third sunburst. You can't use Fury of the North to save it because of silence. Of course. Surprised I didn't have anything else. But we're going to be going for the win. Worst case scenario is like harsh wins. Well, you did you did not hear that Sunburst was bad for me. Super Z, whenever, whenever we did our set review, you did not hear that from me. Keep on having the worst case scenario. I got them a celestial car that costs seven or more. I want to get rid of that thing because I want to go straight to attackers. Oh, right. We're not going to be able to go straight to attackers and challenge Aurelian Soul, are we? Because our ice pillar is gone. Please do not have any more harsh winds or frostbite cards. That's not good either. Just really ran out of power. These last like four turns, we haven't done anything. We're gonna just try putting them down to two so that in case we draw a Mystic Shant. Be quiet. No, oh, never mind. Back to five. That didn't work. Our last five draws have all been one mana cards. Last five turns, we've drawn a one mana card every single time. Love an audience. <clears throat> Two of them were enraged yetis, and then Omen Hawk, Brittle Steel, Elixir of Iron. Man, if they didn't have that hush, we did draw the Mystic Shot. That would have been cool. The, the silence plus six damage spell, three of them. Yuck. Killed all my good stuff, and we did not draw well in the late game. All right, same matchup.
let's keep Vi. I know Augur works, you know, works well with Vi, but of course we need to behold an eight mana card for that. We already got our turn two, our turn three. We'll keep our Vi. Yeah, Runeterra is very similar to magic. You know, like you're uh, spending mana, playing your spells, attacking, blocking, um, that kind of stuff. Both players start at 20 life. This is the life total over here. Um, there are there are definitely differences. Uh, you don't have to worry about hitting land drops in this game. You're going to have. Um, just regular old ice quake. <clears throat> this is your mana over here. Just you start with um, you start with getting one mana on turn one, two mana on turn two, three mana on turn three, and so on. You just saw turn. But there is like ramp and stuff like that. Like that was turn four, my opponent played an eight mana spell. Because if you don't spend mana, it gets saved. You can save up to three mana that you can use on spells only. So it is possible to be playing to have the extra spell mana. Uh, definitely worried about. Not much to do about it. Definitely worried about that, that uh, Daybreak card. I mean, I know that Enraged Yeti is my best threat here. It's an 8-8 Overwhelm, which is Trample. It's an 8-8 Trample for one mana. <laughs> we had to we had to do some some work to create this card, though. Um, but if I if I spend this this one mana on this, I'm not really doing very much with the rest. So it's kind of weird. Like it's turn five, I have five mana. I have a five drop, a five drop, and a one drop. And so I think it makes the most sense to play one five drop, and then the next turn play the other five drop and the one drop. Um, <clears throat> one thing that's really awesome about this game, though, is uh, one thing I really like is there isn't like a you don't take you don't take turns. It's not like I have turn one and so I play my my one drop my goblin guide or whatever on turn one and now I get to attack you and and so on and you're not doing anything because it's my turn. One star's is another spy. It just each turn is just a round, and so now it's a round six. And so round six, you know, we both we both gain our mana, we both play things back and forth. Just one person is the attacker, one person has the attack token. It makes it really balanced where it doesn't really matter if you're attacking first, attacking second. It's like they play their three mana unit, I'm gonna play my five mana unit. Like we're both playing cards back and forth. Um it really takes that problem out of the equation. And also, it's not like, you know, like with Magic, like sometimes like your opponent will have a turn and they'll just play forever and you don't have anything to do, so you just sit there and it's just like really boring, where this is so much more back and forth, both players doing stuff all the time. When you have the attack token, you get to choose if you want to go, you know, it's kind of like, like Magic, do you want to go to it? We can go and attack or we can play stuff first, but if we play stuff, then, you know, priority just moves back and forth we play something then it's going to be their priority then they get to do something you're just going to go to attack challenge here that also has this little eye that you can get to check <laughs> so you, you don't have to worry about like combat math and everything you can be lazy, you can check, and you, it'll, it'll tell you what's going to happen here. So basically both of their units are going to die, they're going to lose 11 life. Um, that's what's going to happen here. We could go... We tried to make that more with Vault Breaker. 
I think we just let that happen. Hey Muffin, day's going good. Day's going good. Yeah, and then the other thing, um, Owl, is this game is, is really easy to get into and earn cards. There is like a weekly uh, reward chest that you get that gets you a ton of cards. And there's also um, just whenever you're playing games, you're earning XP. And there's a bunch of different, each region, which is like a color in Magic, um, each region has their own reward uh, road. And you get to just earn XP and, and earn cards. And and it'll, it takes, you know, it'll take a little bit, but you can you can honestly play this game and not invest money in it and earn the cards unlike unlike like magic and magic arena like you have to be spending money and buying the cards um, it's very real most most players don't spend money on this game i'd say probably the case Yes, I think I got your donation deck. Yes, I did. Uh, muffin for a fearsome frostbite deck. Yep. Yeah, you just had you had kind of like a little outline for the deck there. I didn't let you know like it was kind of late last night, and you know then I took care of the dogs and got dinner and all that kind of stuff. I didn't. I only I looked at it like this morning right before stream. That was the first I looked at it. Um, I want to play the Ice Pillar, but if I play the Ice Pillar, then they get to just kill my Ice Pillar with the Aure Aurelian Soul. So maybe I shouldn't do that. It's always cold in the frill, Yeah, but, yeah, Lucky Owl, I mean, a lot of people spend money on it, like, especially if you want to have the cards right away. You know, if you want to have, like, the Mythics right away to, to play, um, whatever set. That's quite enough. Alright, well, they got Hush as well. Good news is now they're not gonna have hush for the vault break for this turn. My for anything. One smack will do. Yeah, so you can only play three of each card instead of four because you're playing 40 card decks. And so I think so that um, that ratio works really well of just playing a 40 card deck and then and then playing three out of four. You there it everything's best of one, but uh, you are told you do get to check to see what regions your opponent's playing and what their champions are, so you basically know what kind of deck they are, so you make really good mulligan decisions uh, because of that. All right, now I'll kill him. Down. So that uh, that really makes it help with a, a best of one deck of like you know, okay, well they're playing control. You want to mulligan for you and look for your like your control cards and stuff like that. And you mulligan. We'll sh I'll show you the mulligan thing here for two and one. It's not like in Magic where you mulligan your entire hand and then draw a new hand. You mulligan individual cards. So you can, you can keep like two of the cards and mulligan the other two and stuff like that, and so that makes, um, you can't. We couldn't challenge with Sentry. There, my Ice Pillar was dead. They're really insulted and have vulnerable anymore. Uh, 
All right, so we're playing against another Aurelian Soul Leona deck. Um, I mean, it, it does help just people curve out more. Let's see. Let's, you know, obviously we want to keep our one drop. Uh, let's see. So, I mean, it makes, it makes it so, like, people don't stumble that much. So, like, it, the games are just really interesting because they're back and forth because, you know, people are usually playing pretty well. Uh... I kind of want to keep this Outriders. I kind of want to. And I kind of want to keep Elixir of Iron. Let's do that. So I think we're going to draw into our units that we're going to uh, Omen Hawk, hopefully. We draw into our two and three mana units here. With the bonus stream, that just means I stream longer. I just play I just play after after our four videos, I'll just play another three to five games. That's just for uh, just for Twitch. Mulligan not working out too well. I got nothing to do this turn, but of course we'll we'll just save the two spell we'll save that mana for spells later on. Certainly hoping to draw a three mana card. All right, well, <laughs> this is awkward. The dawn has arrived. Carry her light across. No, the don't stun the Omen Hawk. Definitely really awkward drawing all the five drops before, you know, like, before we play Outriders, we want to draw a five drop right after Outriders. Stay back. Yeah, of course, of course, Muffin. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't really done it too much with that. So, ab absolutely. Uh, Trapper is good. I do want to challenge this Leona. I'm doing this my way. The problem, of course, is if they just play another Daybreak card, then Leona turns into a four-six. And I don't get to kill Leona, but then we'll just challenge something else. Hey, really powerful wizard. Six month resub, back to, back to back monthly subs. Thank you so much. So I Twitch Prime sub. So yes, we did hit our bonus stream sub goal today so we will be playing some bonus games after this thank y'all we'll follow you to the edge of daybreak They've already played two of the one mana Daybreak card. Really hope they don't have another one. Allows me to still have Fury of the North. Awesome. There's end round, that's great. Great news. I don't need a plan. Freeze! I'm through waiting. You cannot sway me. Question is, is Daybreak the strongest package in Targon? It's definitely up there, but I think it's still just kind of difficult to say strongest right now.
Difficult to say. But it is quite good. Like when you you know if you have Leona and Robin both in play and you have that going, know your path, that is change. pretty awesome. The War Mother will unite us all. Warm greetings to your brothers. All right, we're starting to do our Freljord stuff. The our top card should be a one mana seven seven. Because it's gonna be a, should be the one mana five five with Trapper, I think, and then you know just got plus two, two plus two with these Hearth cards. We haven't seen like progress day, right? Okay. Yeah, I like that. Um, yeah, Shadow Owls does have some direct damage now. Um, it's still... So it does have that. It's It really lacks with interaction, and Freljord has Freljord has some pretty good interaction. You know, it doesn't really have removal spells that are, are very good. The, the one damage stuff isn't amazing. Uh, let's see. If I... That's gonna stun two things. If I brittle steal this mountain scryer right now, we'll still get the plus two plus two, so it will be a two five instead of a four five. Like, is that worth a card? It's a two five. It means I don't have to block it. Move it. We have seven eight plus cost cards for Augur. We have three Trundle. Stand and fight. Two Battle Fury. And two Progress Day. And otherwise, it's also just can be a very large overwhelm regeneration thing by itself. Um, whenever, especially when you you know when you're talking about Omen Hawk, Avros, and Arth guards, all that kind of stuff, it can be its own at large overwhelm regeneration card. This is our homeland. Super Z, you went 5-0 with Encroaching Shadows? Really? What'd you do with Encroaching Shadows? How'd you use that card? Yeah, that's true. I I was definitely a doubter of Encroaching Shadows. Man, we have good cards to play before combat, but it's just so hard to do that against Leona, because if... We don't go right to attacks. Leona stuns Vi. Nocturne and Ephemerals. You got super lucky. Well, nice. That's very good, though. Glad to hear. Okay, and it was unranked. Hey, that's still fine. You're still... It's a good... Good meme tier card. Was Nocturne your only champion? Or do you have like Hecarim or Thresh? Callista. Kavista. This is the wrong path. Exercise caution. 
Well, we could go all out. I could spend all my mana on Vault Breakers and try to kill them. Why not? I'll still be able to play one mana 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, that doesn't even kill him? <laughs> I, I guess I was doing the math of, you know, with the three mana, I was doing the math of this doing plus three, plus zero, not plus two, plus zero. Alright, well, whatever. Now they're down to one. Now we draw another Mystic Shot. Oh, it still did six damage. Yeah, I don't know. In my mind, with the three mana, I was just thinking give an ally plus three plus zero. Probably because we just got done playing Might um, a little bit ago. The three mana plus three. The power of the immortal sun. Sunlight blinds. All right, this is where we're going to draw Progress Day or Mystic Shot. Get back here. Sun Burst. Cards be a meme. <laughs> no, don't be like the our our last loss of late game. We just start drawing one drops. That's all we have, you know. Enraged Yeti isn't the the typical one drop. Feel the sun's glory. Why would you attack with Leona here? Not sure. We've seen them have Pale Cascade. Stand and defend. So we have to throw in a blocker on the eight seven. Why do we only draw one and two drops in the late game? I will protect you. So yeah, even even harsh winds, yep, our overwhelm would still get there. Oh, this is where I start playing a million star shapings, isn't it? Is Star Shaping the most overrated card? It's a card that, I don't know, I don't, I don't think it's very good. I didn't put it in a single one of my Aurelian Soul decks at all. But playing against Aurelian Soul, everybody's playing that card. And I just don't think it's very good. I think it's too expensive. I don't know, I guess I just don't value heal your Nexus 5 for 5 mana. Very much. Oh, 
All right, playing against more Aurelian Soul. Yuck. That is a bad mulligan. That is a really bad mulligan. Well, sometimes... Sometimes it doesn't work out. Got a large Averroes in Hearthguard. That's pretty cool. Burst cards killing me. One girl wrecking crew. I'm through waiting. Trouble coming at ya. Wow. Out. Took it all. They even block these weirding stones. They want to make sure to have ten mana, I guess, for Aurelian Soul next turn. What will you have? Probably a really in soul, and it's probably a really in soul. Challenging the enraged Yeti. So I would like to play. Well, I'd like to play Augur of the Old Ones. I think I gotta just play like the Vault Breaker. Okay, no, they didn't challenge. Obviously, I wish I would have played the Augur the, the previous turn, but it was pretty risky. This is difficult to get through. There's a lot of risk with playing this and allowing them to play, you know, have the man to play a Celestial card with all of, like, the Obliterate stuff. Minus three, deal three. I could trade Vi for Aurelian Soul, or I can try to do, a, or I can just try to do a bunch of damage to them. 
I'm gonna do nine damage to them. Put them down to two. And level up Vi. Now, maybe a Mystic Shot kills them. And I have two progress days to look for Mystic Shots. I do love an audience. This thing's also a two health with me having Overwhelm. And it's going to be vulnerable. So yeah, really Untold's not leveled up, so they don't get to just cast zero mana Celestials. So they do have to spend, you know, they want to play Celestial stuff, they got to spend the mana on it. Unfortunately, Vi plus Augur is 11 mana. So like if this Vi dies... I mean, I guess... 15 damage kills my stuff. Anyone for some stardust? Darn it. That was the card they just got. That hurts. Yeah, I know the problem, like, with going with just the Vi attack trigger is that, that five mana gain five that everybody's playing. I wanted to try to protect a little bit more against that card. Mystic shots, mystic shots, mystic shots. Alright, got there. They did not have the game five. And the other the other thing was not only like the game five was an out, but also harsh winds. Now harsh winds was still an out though by playing that thing. My other auger also, but that would have been an out, because then then Vi would not have if they would have frostbitten Vi, Vi would not have stricken. Um so that was the other thing we had to worry about of, of like you know, Vi does have to strike, so they would just frostbite Vi. I would not have dealt five damage either. All right, so there we go. Trundle Vi with the four and one. We played against a lot of other, like Trundle, Aurelian Soul, and Leona, Aurelian Soul, and Leona. I think that's all we really played against, but our deck performed pretty well, just getting large Freljord units and bashing in, you know, just asking asking the questions, having our opponent have to be able to answer them. Um, and it went pretty well. Um, Outriders was pretty good. Did like the Outriders that fit the curve very well. 
We didn't really play against any aggro, so we didn't didn't really use Avalanche at all, but I think it's a good card to have access to in here. Um, but awesome. There we go. That's Trundle Vi. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and feel free to leave those comments as well. I would really appreciate that. But thanks for watching some Trundle Vi, and I'll see you for the next video.